The only way to control an aquatic plant problem quickly is with the application of herbicide. Proper plant identification is very important in order to determine the correct herbicide to use. Make sure and read the herbicide label very carefully. This label contains a list of all the plants that the herbicide will control, application rate, application method, as well as some other precautions you need to be aware of. You can also contact your local fisheries office with help selecting a herbicide. Aquatic herbicides are usually in liquid form and can be applied with a backpack sprayer for small infestations or motorized pumps for larger applications. Some types of herbicide come in granular form and can be broadcast into the infested areas. Herbicides typically provide short-term results and periodic retreatments are usually necessary if some method of prevention is not used. Most herbicide labels are readily available on the internet. You can also obtain herbicide selection and application information from your local district fisheries or Alabama Cooperative Extension System office. Grass carp, also known as white amur, is a fish from Asia that consumes aquatic vegetation. Grass carp are often stocked in sport fish ponds to prevent or control certain types of weed problems. Generally speaking, grass carp will control most species of submerged vegetation pretty well. However, contact your district fisheries biologist if you are unsure if grass carp will be effective in your pond. Grass carp should be at least 10 to 12 inches in length when stocked in ponds with an established bass population so they do not get consumed. Although grass carp will not reproduce in a pond, it is recommended that sterile triploid fish be stocked in case of escape downstream. Stocking rates usually range from 5 to 20 per acre depending on the species of plant, severity of the infestation, and the area of shallow water in the pond. A higher density may be necessary in extreme cases. Unlike other sport fish, grass carp often swim with the current and may escape over the spillway during periods of heavy rainfall. It may be necessary to install a spillway barrier to contain grass carp. Refer to Section 2 for more information on spillway barriers, or you may press Enter on your remote now to take you directly there. Stocking grass carp is often the most economical approach to controlling aquatic vegetation because they offer control for at least five years and they don't seem to disrupt sport fish populations. Control of severe weed infestations may not be evident for at least a year after stocking the grass carp. In these situations, it's often more practical to use an integrated approach using herbicide application followed up by stocking grass carp and a good fertilization program. Every pond is different, every pond owner is different. So the best thing to do is contact your fisheries biologist to help determine the most practical weed control program in your pond.